Okay, hi guys, this is my girlfriend's 95 Legend sedan, and um, I've been driving it around for the past few days, and I've been noticing it's got some pretty bad detonation or pinging, and um, I'm pretty sure it's got a clogged DGR system. It's got 202 original uh, miles on it. It's uh, As far as I know, the head gaskets have never been done to it. Uh, the car is pretty well kept and pretty well maintained, but uh, again, like I said, I've, I've, it needs some it needs some work. But what the uh, intent of this video is is I've actually discovered a new feature within the stock ECU, and uh, I actually kind of found it by accident. And what this feature is is it it actually detects knock um, if the knock is over a certain amount, and the engine computer is pulling timing. Uh, what it does is it flashes the check engine light to let you know that something's up. Um, it's actually not storing a code or anything. It just flashes the, flashes the light. And once that's tripped, it will flash the light until you turn the ignition off. It doesn't, like I said, again, it doesn't set a code or anything. Now, what I've done is I've actually chipped the computer, socketed the engine computer, but it's actually running the stock programming. There's stock fuel maps, stock ignition maps. The only change I've made is to enable this program. So uh, the car doesn't have any mods to it. It's just a completely stock car. Uh, anyway, make a long story short, uh, we'll show you the demonstrate the program for you. Again, just got the, uh, the chip in there. And let's show you what's going on. First, I'm going to drive really kind of gently. Actually, we're going to go down a hill. And just to show you that nothing happens if you're not putting any load on the motor. Obviously, it's not going to detonate or ping if there's no load on it. All right. I'm going to turn around in this parking lot over here. And then we're going to go back up the hill. Um, detonation usually happens when you put a load on the motor or the AC's on or it's really hot outside or in the case with this car it's got some other issues some detonation is normal but not to the point where you can hear it all right so we're gonna see we're gonna give it a little bit of gas and see as soon as I give it gas that light starts flashing over to the side here. I'm going to cycle the ignition. You'll see it stops. All right. Try to take off a little gently. And I'm going to hit the gas now. As soon as I got back on the gas, I heard the knock and it detected the knock and it started flashing the light. This is pretty awesome. It's actually a shame that this wasn't implemented from the factory. Uh, I'm sure it would have saved quite a few head gaskets from going bad. Uh, if you read my uh, my blown head gasket thread, you'll kind of understand the uh, the importance of, of not having one of these cars pinging. So. All right, well, thank you for watching the video. I'm going to be updating with more information on this. I'm probably going to make some modifications to the, the actual program so that instead of just flashing the light when it detects knock, I'm going to actually have the, knock, have the light flash with the knock. So whenever the car is knocking, the light will flash as well as, uh, uh, as, 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 the, as what it's currently doing. Um, but this feature will be available on all... Uh, on all chips from now on. All right, thank you for looking, bye-bye.